In ERIC, the subject headings are called descriptors and can be accessed from the thesaurus link located on the top navigation bar. The thesaurus is a list of over 11,000 terms frequently used in education research. A single subject heading will be used to tag all research relating to a topic, regardless of how researchers refer to that topic in their work. Use subject headings to help narrow your results and increase the accuracy of your search by retrieving resources that match your criteria. For example, let's enter the term classes in the thesaurus search box and click find. We can see that the term classes, meaning groups of students, is a subject heading. Sometimes the term you'll enter will have an identical subject heading, and other times it won't. Instead, Eric may suggest a subject heading that is a synonym of your term. If Eric has suggested a subject heading you think matches your search term, you can click on the subject heading to see its context, which may help you understand the subject. From here, we can see the narrow and broader terms associated with the subject heading. In this case, there are many narrow terms associated with classes, and the broader term is population groups. Often you can find relevant subject headings in the related terms, broader terms, and narrow terms around your subject heading when viewing the context. Theoretically, articles in which authors use different phrasing like class size or class organization will be tagged with this subject heading, thus making them much easier to find. To add a subject heading to your search, you must choose whether to explode the term or not. Exploding means that the database will automatically search for the term you selected, as well as the narrower terms and the narrow terms of those terms as well. To explode the term, you can click on the box to the right of your term here. These terms will be combined with OR in your search. If you don't want to search for the narrower terms, or you only want to include some of the narrower terms, but not all of them, you can select only the ones you want by checking off the boxes beside each individual term. If you would like to add a term without exploding it, you can select the box to the left of the term. Once you have selected the term and decided whether to search all or some or none of the narrower terms, scroll below the terms. Before inputting the search, make sure that the combined with option below the terms is set to or. This is the default and we don't want to change that. Now we can click add to search. Now Eric has input our search and we can see it here in the advanced search bar.